All right. Thanks for tuning back in. This is part two of my version of a rocket leader. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always what's in the back of my head. As long as I don't blow myself up, it's all good. Uh, when we left you guys last, uh, Jake and I had a lot of welding left to do. We had to weld all the seams, weld the barrel to the platform, which you can now see we have done. Um, this past week, while you guys weren't around, we went ahead and welded our hinge that you can get at any hardware store. Uh, we just kind of tack welded it on the sides, added a couple handles. Uh, we got a latch catch and a latch, which just pretty much was just a bolt. Cut the head off of it, cut the threads off. We welded uh, the shaft to the door front. Got kind of added a couple nuts just to hold it in place. And this is where once the fire is burning, you know, we'll close that off. This is a damper that I chose not to put in the flue, but it will help choke down the air if it's burning too hot, too fast. If you gotta leave, close it off. All of this I've borrowed from, from a lot of videos that I've watched. The barrel itself, as you can tell from the last time you saw, uh, you're going to have to do this anyway because you're going to have to do an external burn. One is to get the oil off of the steel, the fumes, you have to get the paint, you have to, you're going to have to heat it to where it chips off, bakes off, whatever. I had some time so I went ahead and just took wire wheel and I ground it all down or at least 90-95% of it. Um, I will be painting this with a fireplace paint not a high tip for like engines. It's gotta be like fireplace paint. And the reason I'm doing that is because it does get humid here in Ohio. And I don't want it to corrode. I want it to last as long as this, you know, works. Okay, I assume for the most part, it's just like starting a fire in the fireplace. So we're gonna stuff some paper in. So we got our paper in, we want to put some, uh, you know, small chips, got some cedar, a little mahogany, uh, uh, the major. Start with uh, paper, small ass chips. All right, let's see if this works. A wet bag. guys can hear it on the camera or not just like any fire what we want to hear is that crackle close the door How do you tell if it's working, huh? It's not only working real well. Yeah. yeah. And the reason I say that is because it's it's not drawn. Mm-hmm. What would be cause of that? It's not something. That's not good at all. Yeah, that smoke now. So that's what that's that's all it was. It was not in deep enough. If you look down inside there, you can see how the flames are being pulled that way. Oh yeah. Oh, that's. 
you know you don't your dog. You never think that you're going through those five low range. See how little ash there is. Okay, so we did our what I would call initial fire up. It worked. Uh, it actually worked well. Uh, very little to almost no smoke out the short stack. Um, a little bit of a note about starting this. We didn't start this with our combustible material far enough in the chamber. So we got uh, a little bit of blowback, some flames, some smoke coming out of our feeder tube. Not a big deal. We pushed it in a little further. Uh, we shut the door kind of part way, opened it, closed it to see what was going to happen. It's all about the initial startup. That was kind of the whole point. Uh, so what I would advise you guys, not only to burn this for the first time outside, to figure that out, get the paint off the whole nine yards. Uh, but it did work really, really well. As you'll see, it burnt damn near everything. We're not done burning it yet, but we're almost there. I want to give a little bit of a shout out to uh, my mom and dad for encouraging me to uh, to pursue things that are odd, things you like to do. Uh, my brothers and sisters for kind of making me who I am. Cody Roth, or Cody Roth, good Lord have mercy. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Jake Roth who did. 90-95% of the welding. I did do some off camera because it's been a hot minute since I did it. Cody Gear, my nephew, God love him for putting this together to make it interesting that people would watch. My wife, God love her. Without her, this wouldn't be possible. Um, I hope you guys tune in for the last episode. Uh, we're going to wait till the winter season in Ohio is over. I'm going to burn different types of wood, pine, poplar, oak, maple, whatever. Let you know how my garage or my shop at 24 by 30, 9 foot tall, gives us about 6,400 cubic feet of space to heat. How well this particular heater does. Uh, might work better in a small shop, might work in a bigger shop, but I'll let you know. I hope you stay tuned the last episode thank you you know what i should have did this whole time i should have put this up so you could see yourself there so i can see that i'm an idiot that's cody well, i'm just gonna edit myself out so uh, i can do whatever i want because i can hope, just edit it I out hope you leave that in <laughs> that'd be awesome oh, dear, poor oh, jake dear. he's not here <laughs> see you next time <laughs> and the Pope takes a poop, and the president too, and the fancy grand banker in his three piece suit. The big fat general and all of his troops. The truth of the matter is, everybody poops. <laughs>